nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen We are in Saskatoon at the Flying J Yes, that's correctamente I just delivered my load here in Saskatoon and went over to the flying hook, filled up the truck, filled up their uh, heater unit, filled my body up, went and had me some breakfast. Now we're ready to roll. We're gonna try and get out of here and uh, make our way towards PC, but before we get there, we're gonna be going through Calgary, Alberta where I have planned to meet up with a good old friend of mine which you guys have seen before but uh, I haven't seen him since uh, we met in Seattle and so he's a very nice young fella <laughs> now he's not exactly young anymore but you know he's a very energetic guy still and I'm talking about the almighty J.P. Mellet. That's right. He's a very nice young fellow. I call him. He's a very... How should I say it? Talkative guy. He loves telling stories. And I enjoy hearing the stories. He's got very interesting life. In 100 meters, turn right on Marquis Drive, and then yeah. turn left in 260 meters. He does have a very good story of his life, and I love hearing about it, and I hope you guys do too. And uh, we actually have some things planned. Yes, we do. Here we go. All right, that four-wheeler wants to make a turn. All righty, just got to make sure that he actually wants to do that, so. But anyways, uh, we're going to be meeting up with uh, JP this afternoon. In 200 meters, turn left on Lewis Real Trail, Highway 11. And then we'll uh, continue our journey towards British Columbia. That's right. But uh, I was going to say we have some things planned that we want to do. And one of them is, I really hope this is going to work, is uh, he's going to be riding along with me in the truck for just a little spin around Calgary. And what we're going to attempt to do is show you how we shift gears I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it and asking about uh, how do I shift gears without a clutch or without using the clutch and so I do use the clutch to get going and stop somewhere well not always when I stop but when I get going you have to use the clutch but uh, when I shift gears I never use the clutch so uh, all I use is the throttle, uh, that truck was rolling back there so I figure I honk my horn at him, so he realizes that he's backing up, you know, but anyways, so uh, what our goal is for this afternoon is to uh, attempt to show you guys on that I do not use my clutch and how I shift. That is the goal for this afternoon with uh, me and JP to meet up and uh, make a little video on it and explain it a little bit maybe and show you guys a little bit on how it's done. Yeah, and uh, the way it usually works is you work it with your RPM and it's usually about a 200-250 RPM difference between each gear shift. And so if you try and keep your RPM around that, now it goes both ways. If you shift up the 
RPM goes down about 250 RPMs and if you don't shift it obviously goes up about 250 RPMs right so uh, that's what the goal is for today in three kilometers that is the topic the today <laughs> we actually have a topic today can you believe it <laughs> that's not like me usually I just get up in the morning and I go and I show you what I can and I try to come up with uh, what ideas to talk about Sometimes they're more interesting than others, but hey, we try our best, right? That's right. We got us a cup of coffee to go, so we should be good to go. I'm going to try and work real hard there to try and make it there early enough to where we still have a little bit of sunlight left, or at least daylight left, I meant to say. Not always a guarantee we'll have sunlight, but uh, at least daylight. Hopefully. So uh, let's get down to Calgary and see what we can show you from here to there. We are going to make a pit stop over here. Yeah, it's time to make a pit stop. I've been driving for a couple of hours. Oh, well, probably four hours. So it's time to make a pit stop. I haven't been at this flying J in a very long time. It is been a long time since I've been here. That's right. Oh, this is Highway 36 actually that goes south of here. I didn't even realize that. I've been on that 36 before. But I'm thinking I'm going to go further that way and go up to Highway 21. That's the way the GPS wanted me to go earlier. But now it decided to route me this way. I don't know why. but. No idea why, but we're going to go and see what we can do. Parking on this side, okay. I guess we could go and park beside this cattle hauler up here. Yeah, they got like a little bit of like a cactus type of tree up there or something like that. Just a made, of, made, made stuff there. You know, it's not real, but what is this cattle hauler? What is, why has he got a big mirror like that sticking out of his regular mirror? I don't know why he needs that. Normally only an oversized would need that. But anyways, we'll go do our thing and then we'll be right back, y'all. Here we go, guys. We have had a shower up here. Yeah, we decided ultimately we were going to have a shower up here. So, that's what we did. Yeah, that feels good to take a hot shower for a change. And uh, this is the thing that I was talking to you about there earlier. I've never seen that anywhere else yet. Yeah, I don't know what this cattle hauler is trying to do. I guess he's trying to get through here as well. There we go. sort of get back onto the highway over there from what I know so that's what we'll do we'll try and get over there see if we don't get stuck here and let's get back onto highway 9 and let's get back towards Calgary way station ahead that's right way station ahead eh Station ahead. Well, we know that already. You already told meters. us that once. Turn left on Highway 36. That's right. So let's put on our sunglasses and let's get rolling. It looks like we're going to go into a valley. It looks like you wouldn't think that Saskatchewan, Alberta, don't have valleys, but they do. Yes, we are in Alberta. But uh, look at this rock cut that they got up here. I wonder what this is really is, but uh, I think I've been through here one time before. But it's been a long time ago since I've been through here. But it is actually a fairly big valley, it looks like down there. When you come up to it, it doesn't actually look that big. But when you're actually driving it, it is actually fairly bigger than I thought it was, you know. 
Mr. JP. Howdy. Yeah, he's going to be riding along and he's going to be my cameraman. <laughs> Anyways, that's a that's a plan, right? Uh -huh, that's the plan. So if you want to hold the camera yeah. and uh, we'll see if we can... Uh... And Rudy will tell us all about the gear shifting. Yeah. And now if so, I point it downward at your stick, yeah. we'll be able to tell. Yeah. So if you look at the, ca the, the shifter over here, we got an up and, and down button right on this side, and this side we got a red button. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, and it's what they call a splitter. So uh, we usually go first, second, third, fourth, and then we flip this one up, we put it into where the first was, and then we call it a fifth gear. And then once we're up to speed, we put the uh, red one forward, and we're into overdrive. And then once we want to shift into six, we pull it back and when we push it all the way back and we're in sixth gear and then uh, once we are there we go with the red one forward and we're in overdrive again uh -huh. so we do that all over till we're into thir 13 speed oh, yeah. and we've been talking about uh, that we don't use the clutch to shift gears yeah. but we do use it when we take off so let's uh, put it in, uh, in gear okay before we take off, yeah. let's, let's do a little bit of planning here. Yeah. Gear foot northbound is toast. Yeah. It's bumper to bumper. I was thinking of, of going maybe a, okay. a block over there somewhere. Okay, so we can use 32nd to mm. 36, or you want to go to 52nd actually, get rid of the railroad track, the yeah. LRT, yeah. then we make a right on 52nd to uh, to 16 and back 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 here. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's Just a big good. long square. So 50. 52 is how far? Uh, 52, well the 36, it's uh, 16, it's about uh, 16, 22 blocks from here. 22 blocks, eh? Yeah, roughly okay. speaking, I'm guessing right. a little bit here. Yeah. All right, well that's... Because 19, 28, no, 28 is Barlow Trail. <laughs> yeah, this is 26, yeah, the yeah. next one there. Yeah, 26. Yeah. So... <laughs> I'm going to just... Disconnect this guy here, so he's not going to be screaming at us. Going to be yapping at so, us. Here we go. RJ, right? Yeah, we call him RJ. <laughs> you, yeah. you know what is uh, fun as I is that as Romeo Juliet. <laughs> 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 Romeo <So>. Juliet. <laughs> so here we go. So we're yeah. going to do a shift without clutching, eh? Uh huh. Yes. I don't know where everybody wants to go, but 
uh, Rudy, I'm gonna comment on this thing. I, I've been watching for Rudy ch uh, using the clutch. <laughs> now I see it because where he puts the camera up on the top here, you cannot see his left <laughs> leg moving, but he does move it. And now he didn't. <laughs> and now I'll tell you something, folks. This guy is so smooth, gears are not even grinding. <laughs> so you won't need any plastic one. <laughs> This four wheeler wants to go, but we'll go around it. It's a drunk four wheeler, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I know that area over there a little yeah. bit. We, uh, we do pick up loads over there, uh -huh. you know. Do you know where Walmart uh, Distribution Center is here? No. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? It's about six blocks up this straight ahead okay. and three blocks to the right. It's just before McKnight Boulevard. Oh, okay. okay. It's just down this way and to the right. So let's make our yeah. right hand turn. We're going to be shifting into uh, <laughs> fourth gear, which is low gear. So we're flipping her up, getting ready for fifth gear. So there we go. Uh -huh. So now we have to split her forward, see? Yeah. See, that's another gear. <laughs> <laughs> it is so smooth and op operation. Well, you gotta try and get it into the uh, right RPM. You yes. Know? And as we're talking about it, you're gonna become being more conscious about it. And yeah. You, and yeah. You can, you, you're gonna <laughs> do a little bit of grind, <laughs> but we won't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's normal, you know. Yeah, like it you, is. Uh, gotta find the right space, right? Did you see the video on uh, YouTube of the Mack truck where they talk about the, uh, I don't know if it's Mack or, oh crap, who was it? They have a new, a new system coming up now. It's called 2.6 uh, or 6x2. Or never heard of it. But you have, <laughs> um, instead of it being, let's, I, I would like to say a 10 by 2, like it's your drives are 10 tires yeah. and the front is 2, right? Yeah. Well, what they do is that they use the two front uh, wheels, uh, they're idlers really, but mm -hmm. the first uh, drive axle is split from their other drive axle. In other words, when you reach a speed of 54 miles an hour, he was explaining, mm -hmm. it will disengage the far drive axle and it reduces the rpm by anywhere from four to six hundred rpm oh wow and it saves fuel okay you know that i just saw that last night i was uh i meant to 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 um share it out so that um because you're on my facebook right you yeah, see my, yeah you would see the the, the, the video i'm thinking we could do a s circle here at the next 30 yeah, 30 second is where the LR. Oh, yeah, we can use 30 second up here. Yeah. Or 36. Uh, yeah, well, 30. this one here. This yeah. one here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so too. So yes. 30 second. No, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, make yeah. just make a little flip. You just wanted to. See where all the yellow lights are over there? Yeah. That, I used to work there. I worked. I opened that place up in 1988. Oh, wow. So, That's the. Uh, yeah, this is going to yeah. be a bit of a tight one. But yeah. Can yeah, this is a tight corner because of that lane they had it. Yeah. That, that's a big parking structure over there. <laughs> we'll just show a little. <laughs> this is a tight corner. Yeah. it jerks a little bit but not all the time you know depending on yeah how smoothly you get it in gear you know that's right yeah. or how fast you take off right uh-huh uh, i don't know which street would bring us back oh i know <laughs> the, not the, this traffic light the next, the next one. one right yeah yeah that's what i figured but yeah and then we go past uh one traffic lights and then you make a right again. Mm. See a future shop closed up here. 
Oh yeah, all of them future shops I think are Mo closed. Yeah, though. most most of them. The some of them change over to uh, Best Buy. Right? Best Buy, yes. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah, I work at the hospital here from 1988 until 1997. Okay. And uh, before that, I was. This is the Peter Lloyd Center. It, uh, it was a sub of the Calgary General Hospital, okay. and we were working microwave from the general to here on the computers. It was um, it, so interesting. It was un, un, unbelievable. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, I worked there at the hospital for 29 years. Wow, that's a long time. Uh huh. That was fun. <laughs> Oh, I, I had that. one. Uh, the job I think I, I've been down on this street before. I think. Yeah. I think just yeah. over there they yeah. got that uh, matrix, don't they? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. On the That's left where side. We sometimes yeah. Pick up. yeah. We go right here. Yep. Yeah, and this is Sunridge Mall over here. It's hard to see. Yeah, it's it gonna be hard to see, but it's <laughs> dark. But. Yeah. But the, uh, the these cameras are working pretty good. That's, yes, uh, they are. That's yeah. uh, the beauty behind it. If yeah. we get a little panoramic view, <laughs> and now we'll come back <laughs> slowly. <laughs> yeah. I just love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. Yes. See, we got chapters here and everything. Yep, yeah, yeah. This street will bring us right back to yeah. uh, where we came yeah. from. That's kind of what the goal was anyways, yeah. right? Yeah. To just uh, yeah, go around. show everybody yeah. a little bit on how we shift gears. That's right. We don't use and the it, clutch. Yeah, and <laughs> it is so smooth. Yeah. It is smooth. I used to do that with a soft drink truck. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And no partition in that truck. The load was from front to rear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I used to shift gears with floating them. Well, yeah. it, it shifts harder when you have something liquid in there. Oh yeah. It is. Uh, it's more shaking. Yeah. You know? And I do have a little bit of liquid in here, but not yeah. too bad. You See know? the next traffic yeah. light, we go right. Yeah, I know this one here. Yeah. Uh, this used to be a, an RV place, and now the post office. I bought it, I bought the guy out, really? and now it's a central depot. That's oh, okay. to. It's for the uh, all these mailbox that you're putting in. Yeah. They're all gonna be working out of here. Oh wow! The central nice. plant over there will sort, the, do the first sort, yeah. and the last sort we're gonna be done in here and then deliver to your house. To well, to, to the uh, yeah. to the mailbox. All right. Let's see. We can yeah. get our own here. That four wheeler is gonna have yeah. to move over a little. Oh yeah. That hotel on the left side up here. Yeah. Another nice one. That it is. Yeah. Yeah, they um, they had a move. I think we turned one street too quickly. Eh? No, no, we no. did not. <laughs> oh no, that's right. No, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I see that now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This place here, Comfort Inn. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's right there between the Comfort Inn and the yeah. Super Eight, where uh, yeah. where we have that truck stop, right? Yeah.